Hi, well, let's get right to it here. This is Gravity Forms, and if you're a WordPress website person, you are going to love this tool. This can make so much work so easy for you that you will be in tears that you didn't have it earlier, but it just got released. It is brand new. We've got a lot to do, so let's get her done. So we go over to our Manage Plugin site and our WordPress website. Now we've gotten the plugin already installed. Gravity Forms. You would have to come here and activate it. Once you do that, then you will be seeing a new setup on your left-hand side. It's called Forms. And before we put a form on the website, we have to create one. So we'll go to New Form, and we'll start creating our form. Let's start out we're going to do something a little bit unique here so I'm going to edit this form and name it so we'll say edit in the form editor we're going to call this classroom survey and then we will save it Okay, so our form is saved. Now we're going to start adding fields to it. So we will close this piece of the pie and we'll add a single line text. Now this is going to actually wind up being my member's ID. So <clears throat> we'll call it member's ID. And this description. And the rules are required. That's forcing them to put it in. We'll update the form. Close the box. Now we're going to want to add a paragraph text. And that's going to be called comments. I actually like that. But it's required as well, and we'll update the form. And we close this box. And then we add check boxes. All right, now this gets it to be a little fun. Let's go in here and edit check boxes. So the first thing we're going to call this is a serve. Yeah, let's call it class room survey. I'm just going to get smart here and put it down in the paste. Then we're going to call this one very satisfied. And this one I'm okay satisfied. And this one I am so not satisfied that's pretty good so we want a required update your form we'll close this now we're going to add some other stuff here see now how it says very satisfied satisfied all of this stuff okay cool now we'll get into some advanced fields now here's where you could enter the person's name phone number, the date, the address, the website, the email, the file upload, and the recapture. Now we are going to do a little bit of this. One, we're going to add the email. Because I kind of like to know who's behind all this. So there we go. And then we edit the email property. We'll call it email, let it stay email, and oh, behold, email. We want to require it. update the form that close it so you have our email and now we're gonna put our recapture and uh, let's see there's something I could get I mean we could go in here and change it you could change the color and you know uh, validation message Please enter a valid 
code. Description out here. Um, help us prevent spam bots and enter the code. Can read. All right, update the form. I have tremendous control over a lot of this stuff. Um, a lot of these fields I've shown you. There's so many other things that you can do with each and every one of them that uh, it just take much more than an hour to show you all this stuff. But this is so cool. We've just created it. It's done. Now all we have to do is put it somewhere. All right. So your form is saved we can check it down here to preview it just to see what it'll look like so let's go ahead and do that and I got my members ID my comments my survey and my email and my caption okay so that looks pretty cool right, now I come back down here I don't really like my email being way down here All right so we can move it and I can move it right underneath the members ID Right? And so that's done now. So I got members ID, email, comments. There we go. Okay, so it's easy as that. You can just drag and drop these boxes and you've drawn your form. Your form is done and now it's time to go and implement it. Here's the fun part. Okay, so we'll go to a page and we will put it in one of our pages called Classroom Survey which just happens to be a blank form. Now, this icon right here is the one that has been added. It's automatic. So when you're in there and you're making your pages, you don't see this one. Now you do once you get Gravity Forms. And so I'll click it and I select a form, Classroom Survey, insert it, and we are done. Published. and it is live and it is that simple you are done now let's go take a look at the website and we'll look at members classroom class survey and there it is nope we're not done yet let's show you behind the scenes what it's really doing so we'll say net savvy guy Comments is Gravity Forms Rock. All right, very satisfied. Wally at nomail.com. And we'll do the capture code, which is 99 A N G U I L L A. Submit. And now it says, thanks for contacting us. We'll get in touch with you shortly. That's what we typed in our form when we created it. So that's what they'll see. Now, let's go behind the scenes and see what it's doing in the database. So we go to Edit Pages. Now, instead of New Form, we'll go to Entries. On the Entries, we'll select the form that we just created, which is Classroom Survey. Now we see our first one. Okay. And we can actually go in there and edit it, delete it, mark it as red. Let's take a quick look at it. Gravity Forms rocks. Okay, so this is it in a nutshell. You've seen how to create Gravity Forms, and it really rocks. You've got to go and get this product.